Hi guys, it's Joe. So, uh, my video is titled the Chipotle Challenge. And this is a challenge that um, me, Gina, Yolanda, and Laura had um, challenged each other. Um, and we didn't have to do it, but if we wanted to, we can. So, basically, we went to a crop um, last a couple weeks ago and then um, we all ate at Chipotle and we kept all the um, the to-go bags and our challenge was to make something out of it or use it uh, repurpose it so Gina had already put her vid up and I believe Yolanda's gonna put her video up and so this is my video and I decided to create um, a journal page or um, I'm gonna start doing um, a book for myself and Gina had given me some awesome papers and they're all black and white and uh, cream so um, that's the paper I'm going to use but I decided to um, use the Chipotle bag and make my um, make this page to put in it or whatever anyways so this is a 12 by 6 and this is corrugated uh, cardboard it was 12 by 12 and I cut it in half and as you can see, um, I covered the cardboard uh, with the Chipotle bag. And just to show you, these are all my leftovers. This is what's left of the bag. So all of that's going to the trash. And um, on the side of the bag, when you open it up, it has this uh, Chipotle um, signage on it. So I cut it up and I made a strip so it's like a pocket. So it goes like that and then this little bag this little chips bag I had bought like um, a little bag of uh, tortilla chips so I decided to keep that and I made this flower here using the Sizzix flowers layers number three die and it's this one has this flower this one and then the spiky flower right there and I used the paper bag to um, to make the flower, I, the only thing that I added was this um, already made organza flower and I sprayed it with purple and it is my Lindy Stamp Gang which is Potion Purple and I made this cute little flower here. I added some ribbon and I folded the bag in half, punched two holes and I wanted the flower to be on top but I didn't want to steal the um, bag so basically what I did, I um, I can still open the bag like that, but I just glued the flower in the middle of those two holes so that I can still tie a bow. Actually, let me tie it like this. And it still looks cute. And I kept the chips bag so maybe I could put receipts in there or little notes or napkins, whatever anything I want to put in this little bag so it goes in this pocket or this slot right here um, I made this purple flower also out of that dye and let me see if it'll focus yeah I did several layers and it kind of curled up on its own with the heat gun when it was um, drying up so I like how that turned out and you can see I punched two holes here and I put an extra large um, eyelet I put two holes. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do three, but I still have the option to do three. So that is the front, and then I distressed the edges with walnut stain. And then I just made a little photo slot here. And I didn't glue the flower all completely all the way, so I can still slide a photo there and um, put whatever I want or tags or anything like that. So that's the front page. And this is the back page. And the back page is actually the back of the bag. So I cut it up and I glued it. And this is what the back says. And it just says, this bag's made without bleach, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then I doodled some scallops all around the edges. And then I colored um, the scallops with a paintbrush using the Witch's Potion Purple. So I have that beautiful purple shimmer. And then on the top here, I just wrote uh, my Chipotle cruise. So I'm going to try to see if I can get pictures of them. Or I'll take pictures of them and I'll put it um, on the back here. And I'll journal whatever I want to write about them. And they're not going to read it. <laughs> so that is the back page. And this is the front. 
so that is what I did with my Chipotle paper bag and that's it okay thanks for watching bye